Certifying badasses one podcast at a time. Teaching you to love Monday. Check your baggage at LicensedToBeBadass.com and hop on the bus to Badassville. Turn up your energy with Mustang Monday. Here once again in the driver's seat is Kelly Orchard. Hey, 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 everybody. Kelly Orchard, Badass and Fire from Mustang Monday. Sitting in the car with me. I, I told you it's Mustang Monday. Murrieta uh, is the fire chief, Bernie Malloy. Welcome, Bernie, to the Mustang. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice How to are meet you, you too. All right, I'm good. So, I'm watching our fire engine go by. Yeah. Perfect, perfect timing. In a fire engine red Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. I also have a fire engine red truck now too. Well, that's good. I know. And so you gotta I, have your theme. I got like it wasn't it wasn't deliberate, but it happened that way. I do have to have a theme. But um, so how you these are always generic, you know, and, and I run them periodically, you know, I'll reshare it. But you are a new fire chief here. I'm a new fire chief. A little so, over two months now. Two Korea. months as as of this recording. Yes. Yes. Very nice to meet you. So yes. all right, so normally what I do in bad, you know, with a baddest tip from the streets, like, do you have, what did you want to talk about today? Uh, Is it fire safety? <laughs> well, let's talk about community safety. Yeah, community there's safety. there's so much. The I fire department that. does yeah. a lot more than just exactly. uh, Fires. the fire side right. of our job. Yes, I know. All right, community safety. Community safety. It's, yeah. it's what we're here for. It's what the fire department's here for. Mm-hmm. We're, we, we serve our community in a lot of ways other than just going when there's a fire. Mm-hmm. So we are all risk, meaning that if the community has any problems, they can call us. And along with our law enforcement partners, we figure it out. Mm-hmm. So tell me about you. So how long have you been in this field? Because fire chief for just a couple months. Sure. Uh, well, I'm new to being the fire chief for Murrieta. Right. But I've been in the fire service basically my whole adult life, right when I finished college. Mm-hmm. Uh, right when I finished paramedic school, I went to the fire department. So about 25 years now in the fire service. Mm-hmm. And I spent the most of those at Lakeside Fire Protection District, mm-hmm. just just that way in San Diego County. Yeah. So, yeah. But I've always lived here. You've always lived here. I've always lived here. Were you born and raised here? No, or? no. I, I was born in Northern California, but as soon as I got in the fire service, I moved to the the valley because yeah, that's where all the firefighters live. That's where they live, but the, all the fires are up in Northern California. Northern, well, here too. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been to fires yeah. everywhere, but yeah. Well, it, today we're lucky with the weather because on the day that we're recording, it's very gloomy and very. Very cold. We have our May Gray. Yeah, May Gray, you call May it. May Gray is going on. All right. Oh, my. Sorry. That's okay. I have a radio. I love that. He has a radio because he is the fire chief. And just because he's in my Mustang doesn't mean you're going to turn it off. No. So, all right. So, I was sure Kim Summers and I have already done our interview. And, um, you know, I was kind of worried about all these city officials saying the word badass. And um, so Kim said it. So she noted, she said, and she, he's like, all right. I'm off the hook. I'm I off the hook. Worry. I get to do it. Yeah, because we have city officials saying the word badass. So what do you love most about, you know, the city? And you have your family here too, sure. right? Yeah. Yes, so, I've, I've raised my family here because it's a great place to raise a family. And part of that is because of the fire department and the police department that we have here making sure we have a safe and cared for city. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more than just those two community service groups. It's the community helping each other out as well. And that's what drew me to this organization. I mean, I'm I'm going to be honest, I I had a great job at a great organization, but Mm -hmm. when I had the opportunity to come here to Murrieta to be the fire chief, it aligned completely with my values and what I see a fire department should be doing for their community. So. Uh, it was an opportunity that I certainly had to take. All right, now all the all the uh, city official, you know, dialogue. You said I love this community, and I'm not trying. This isn't to throw you under the bus. And um, first of all, I'm sitting here cockeyed, crooked in a yeah. parking lot, and I'm like, I was walking up, going, I hope they're not going to give me a ticket. And I'm like, well, I think I have the, you know, the hookup. People not giving me tickets, <laughs> you know, hopefully, but they still could, and that would actually be fun for the video. Is for me actually getting a ticket. The, from the city of Murrieta because I'm parked funny in your you, parking You wouldn't get, get it from the fire department. No, I know I wouldn't get it from the fire department for sure, but I'm thinking how would that look? But I wanted to actually get the fire a fire truck over here for a photo op just because my car is the same color. It's close. Close. It's close. It's close. Well, right. my car's over there and it's a pretty similar color as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But all right, so it's not a fire engine that I drive around every day, though. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what, what was your favorite part of the job? You know, I'm, you've been doing this forever, and you, from paramedic to fire chief, in 25 years. 
Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, everyone's going to say it's service to the community. Yeah. But it's exciting service to the community. Mm -hmm. We get to there. Being part of a community is a great thing. But when the fire department gets to interact with the community on an emergency basis, we're there to solve real problems. Right. People are calling us because problems. there's right. life and death, death situations going mm -hmm. on. Sometimes cats and trees. Mm -hmm. It does happen. Yes, mm -hmm. those, those happen. But generally when we come out to people, they're experiencing their worst day and mm -hmm. we can make it better. And that's mm -hmm. always been what I've enjoyed is when you have those incidents that you're able to be there and be part of the solution for them turning around whatever tragic thing is going on in their their mm -hmm. life at that point and that could be a fire that could be an, a medical emergency that they're having it could be a flood in their house i mean we do a lot of different things in the fire service mm -hmm. yeah they, yeah they do so what is um what do you do for fun what is your you know uh, when you're not working uh, i'm in, <laughs> when i'm not working yes <laughs> Uh, mostly, I'm just an outdoors person. I'm a cyclist. I love riding. I've ridden all over this whole community. Yeah. And it's uh, that's always been my, my passion is outdoor sports. Outdoor sports? And your kids? My daughter's a dancer. Oh, yay. And so I, I do get to uh, yeah. you know, go to all, all the dance things. What studio is she with? Right now she's with Norris. Okay. Which is here in Marietta. All she's right. She's been there a long time. Yeah. And, and how old is she? 15 and a half. See, I'm a dancer too. So right. when you say okay. dancer, it's right. like, ooh, it's like, okay. Right. So what kind of dance? She's done ballet until this year. And then she's now doing some of the teams mm -hmm. stuff as well. But before that, it was all ballet. Now, does she ride with you, you know, bikes, cyclists? No. no. Well, yeah. now are you, okay. is it, I mean, we what kind of cycling are you talking about? Not street biking. Road bike, mountain road, bike. Road bike, mountain bike. Yeah. Okay. There's Cycle a whole, bikes, there's a whole community yeah. out here. There's, of people there's who a do community. That. Sure. I, I, I see some Instagram videos and stuff like that of different trails and whatnot. So, you know, all of the trails out I here. I do know. Yeah. Inside the out trails and backwards. Trails and the roads and yeah. everything else. What a great thing for a fire chief to know literally all the back roads so intimately like it's, that. I mean, that was one of the barriers I didn't have to worry about when I came here is that I knew, Already knew. the community really well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That is very cool. So do you have a group of people that you do it with? Or are you pretty much solo? Friends. Lots of friends. Friends. Lots there. of friends. Yeah. Outdoor. Sometimes alone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what else do you like to do for fun besides, you know, cycling and fighting fires and taking care of your community? A family. Family? I mean, yeah, my wife and my daughter. You, Are it. You know, when yeah. you have a busy family, you have a fulfilled life. So yeah. we keep ourselves busy and uh -huh. do a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, well, very cool. I'm so glad that you took the time and that we didn't have some sort of fire department emergency while I'm we're together. To. <laughs> so, all right. So everybody, uh, Kelly Orchard, Badass Stirred Fire, uh, sitting here. A, a badass tip. We haven't even done a badass tip. What's your tip for the community, uh, whether it's a personal nature or... Well, I, I think my tip is both. It's yeah. personal and professional. Okay. And what could be more badass mm -hmm. than helping your community every single day? Right. Truly. Yeah. It's easy to be selfish, yes. but it's hard to help people every day. And I don't just mean the fire department. Right. Be an everyday hero whenever you can. And that can be bringing in your neighbor's garbage cans. It can be, you know, helping the people around you and being an everyday hero. That's that's important to me and that's how I try to live my life personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's nice that I get to roll that over into my professional career. That as is well. very cool that that that's kind of just your own personal, you know, motto is just help out. I like the idea it's like even if all you're doing is bringing in somebody's shouldn't, trash cans for Shouldn't them. it be everybody's goal mm -hmm. to make somebody else's day easier or better yeah I mean, that's well I know that you know I'm a psychotherapist and that's you know, oh, like, you, oh you are you didn't tell me <laughs> you that. didn't tell me that yeah well that's that's kind of how all this started with the badass tips from the street is you know positive a positive mindset and badass is a is the acronym and it's all about a positive attitude you know maintaining a ment a positive mental attitude and yes helping others actually improves your mood so when you're feeling sad or low or depressed or angry Go help out somebody in your community. Go help somebody. You'll feel better. You'll feel better and they'll feel better. That's a great badass tip. Sure. All, All right, right, everybody. This is uh, Fire Chief Bernie Malloy with Mustang Monday. And just repeat after me, reminding you to be bold, be, bold, be, be brave, brave, be confident, be confident and be, be badass. badass. Mustang Monday. Fast cars, fun chats, and badass business and personal tips from the streets. Driving home a positive message with interviews conducted in Kelly's 2006 Mustang. Grab your Badass Habits ebook. Get started on your badass journey. Go to licensedtobebadass.com.